Hey, what's up, Sports Talk Detroit? Another trade rumor. Uh, this one is actually pretty old. I think we, I, I didn't do a video on this when it first came around, but it is a trade between the Indiana Pacers and the Detroit Pistons. And there's been a few things rumored in here. We know the Pacers are willing at the trade deadline to get rid of Karis LeVert. We know that they're shopping Sabonis, and we know that they're shopping Turner. So those are three big names, but I'm just going to say right now, only one of them intrigues me. Only one. And then another one kind of intrigues me. And I'll explain what that is. But if you watch the Boston video, I said, hey, you better have the name Brown coming out of your mouth. Otherwise, I'm not interested. Well, with the Indiana Pacers, I am saying the same thing with Miles Turner. I want Miles Turner. And here's the reason that I would want Miles Turner with the Detroit Pistons. It's really simple. He is an efficiency freak. And that would be the trade that I would want to do. Jeremy Grant for Miles Turner straight up. Maybe they just want to say, all right, Sabonis is our guy. We're going to put him at the five. We're going to put Grant at the four. We're going to have Levert. We're going to have Brogdon. And this could work. I don't think the Sabonis and Turner playing the front court together, the experiment isn't working because Sabonis can't stretch the floor effectively enough. Also, who guards their power forward? If you have a stretch four on the other side, it is a matchup nightmare for either of those guys. But if he comes to the Pistons, he can play the five. Sadiq is at the four. He gives us spacing from the five, and it is a it just works. So I'm going to go through the reasons why I want Miles Turner and why I'm kind of obsessed with this guy, especially from an efficiency standpoint. It's a position of need for the Pistons. Look, we all love Isaiah Stewart. We do. And he has flashes like once every 10 games where you're like, yeah, see, he could be something. But I think if we really take into account what his game, what he could be great at is an energy backup center. That is where he could be at his best. He has deficiencies. He's not that tall. He's not an athletic freak, so he doesn't make up for his height that well. He has long arms. He does protect the paint. He does protect the rim pretty well, especially at his size, but I think it's better suited in the second unit. We could see him run and dominate in the second unit to an extent. Miles Turner could slide in as the starter there, and life would be really, really good. Second, he's a low command player. Whenever anybody talks about pros for trading Jeremy Grant, it's so that our young players can get more touches. Miles Turner, if you look at his the what the role he played in Indiana, it was very low command. Imagine if you gave him more opportunities. What would he blossom into? Would it be similar to Jeremy Grant? Do you even need to? My goodness, like I'm really excited about it. Again, his efficiency is through the roof. He's a stretch five, but not only is he a stretch five, he is that rare combo where he's a five who can shoot threes, but he is an elite, and I don't use that word lightly, he is an elite rim slash paint protector. He has averaged over two blocks a game for his career. The dude can play defense. He just, he has good timing. He has long arms. It just works. All right. Don't let the normal stats fool you on this guy. You might look at it and be like, no, 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 no. You picked the wrong center, Craig. We want Sabonis. We don't want Turner. No, you want Turner. I'm telling you, you want Turner. Sabonis so is ball dominant. Sure, it's nice to have a guy you can throw it into the paint who will get you a bucket. I get that. But he's a defensive liability. He's not a stretch. He's not going to stretch the floor. Like, he doesn't help in a lot of areas. Miles Turner helps in every area of the floor. Um, again, he's going to allow the young players to develop. And if I'm being completely honest, if they don't like that trade, I'm willing. If they're saying, no, we also want to start our rebuild, fine, you can have Isaiah Stewart. Fine, you can have Kelly Olenek. Like, I'm fine with giving them those players if that's what they feel like they need um, to make this deal happen because I think Miles Turner is that good and he's not old. I want to say he's only like 25 years old. So I am all in. I'm on the Miles Turner train. I'm not saying I want him more than a couple of the previous trade things. I'd want Collins more from Atlanta. I would want Brown more from uh, Boston, but I think you can get Miles Turner at a less expensive price than those other guys. Um, and then I think when you get him in Detroit, when all of a sudden, instead of being that fourth option, all of a sudden he becomes the second or third option, I think you're going to see what kind of a player Miles Turner really could be and the type of center we have been missing in the Motor City. 
All right, what do you guys think? Is Miles Turner as good as I say he is? Because I think he's really, really good, and I would do this trade in a second. Hey, if you like the video, hit subscribe. Don't forget to comment below. Thanks again for watching. Go Pistons.